So you hear this in the arguments all the time when you're trying to use a grow tent as a reptile enclosure. They look stupid, they look so dumb, there's no windows, you can't see the reptile, and it just looks lame. It's not, it does not good enclosure. That's, no, no, bad, bad enclosure. Yeah, that about covers the, uh, those anti-grow tent people's arguments. They're fucking dense. <laughs> so today we are here to answer a very important question. Can you make a grow tent look like a nice reptile enclosure? Um, yes. Yes, you can. Pretty much the short answer, the longer answer is the, you know, eight to 12 minute video you're watching right now where I'm going to deck out this enclosure right here. This is for my Chinese water dragon. I just had this as a little temp, little setup. So now it's pretty bare bones, just some branches, a big water bowl, things like that. But eh, it don't look very nice. I'll be honest, you know, it's not the nicest looking setup. So today we are gonna deck this thing out. I've got some more branches, uh, actually right over here. I've got some plants right behind the camera. I've got some nice stuff we're gonna be doing with this grow tent. So um, I think that's it. Let's uh, roll this montage and get this thing started. So real quick, we'll just take a quick look at this setup. Like I said, pretty bare bones. I actually brought the water bowl downstairs already to um, give it a nice scrubbing. We're gonna add some stuff to it, but there is the water dragon just taking its little morning bask. Um, unfortunately, you know, this guy used to be like very hand tame, but at this point he's, uh, he's doing okay. You can see he's flapping his uh, beard out just a little bit, but uh, <laughs> it's still an amazing looking animal. I mean, just check out those colors. Chinese water dragons are incredible. Well, anyway, I'm going to take him out and we can get this montage started. All right, get ready to laugh at me. Um, this is going to be the hardest part of this thing is installing the uh, bamboo fence around the line of the lining of the enclosure. Um, usually I do this before I actually set the tent up. So I just have this hollowed out um, frame that I can put it on. So having to squeeze it between the walls and the uh, you know support bars is um, gonna be a little difficult and <laughs> it's just gonna be a pain in the ass. <laughs> Bamboo fencing, the biggest <laughs> pain in the ass to put inside a tent. Oh my God, it's infuriating. I, I had to take a five minute break because I, I was losing it, oh my God. <laughs> the bowl, the bowl somehow got behind the wall so I had to like dig it out. It's, oh, it looks nice though, it looks really nice. So we're gonna keep going. Now we just need to zip tie it. So it actually stays, because it doesn't stay. It doesn't stay. It just moves around. It doesn't. You know, before making this video, I asked myself, Dakota, why are you, procra why are you procrastinating the Chinese water dragon setup? It's gonna look nice, you know? People like the water dragon, just make it. It's gonna be good. Yeah, I, re I remember why I procrastinated it. Oh, oh, I remember why I procrastinated it. <laughs> done and it looks it looks here let me turn the light back on bb it looks pretty nice um 10 out of 10 not worth the effort nope
Next step, we are gonna be adding some live plants. People tend to ask me, Dakota, what's your favorite plant to use for reptile enclosures? Because I really need a good one. And that's pothos, baby. Pothos can survive anything. Even me neglecting it for two months, thinking it's trash, throwing it in the bin, then a couple of weeks later saying, oh, you know, you know what, I'm gonna use that. And thus, now, it's not in the best condition, we're saying, but you know, you, you give it a little water, it will spread out, you trust me, it's, it's gonna be okay. Plants are in, plants are looking good. Just put the water bowl back in. So really now it's left to put the branches back, turn it back on and see how the Chinese water dragon life sits. So uh, let's check it out. All right, we're pretty much all set. Got everything uh, taken out, put back in, some live plants, of course that bamboo fencing. And of course we turned the lights back on, got some nice ledges and branches going, so pretty much the last part is, is um, mist it down and then grab the Chinese water dragon. getting a little annoyed at me following around with the camera, so we're just gonna let him be in the new setup. Um, But yeah, there you go. Doesn't look half bad. I mean, we went from an enclosure that looking like this, you know, very bare bones. We got those gross silver walls too. Well, this, a nice, you know, bamboo walled, uh, planted some live plants in there. We got some branches going both horizontally and vertically. Just a uh, pretty nice looking setup, if I uh, do say so myself. We got the bamboo fence at Home Depot, but you can also get it on Amazon. I know, five people at least are gonna comment that in this video. Where do I get the bamboo fence? Those two places. <laughs> Pretty much gonna wrap the video. There you go. You can make a grow tent look nice like I just did right there. And it only took me like two hours. Two hours. <sighs> Fucking bamboo fence. Now, as always, if you like the video, please feel free to give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see some more of my animals or my breeding products, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, DBCB Exotics. We're also on TikTok, though I really don't post that much on TikTok anymore ever since the bird video.
Some cool merch designs like this tank top right here. Maybe you like this design. Maybe that design right there. You can find all that at teespring.com slash dbcbexotic. Link is down in the description where just so happens Patreon is also patreon.com where you get to see first insights on new animals I get, some pictures that I take before anyone else can, and even first dibs on the animals I produce with a discount on them. All sounds pretty good, right? Right down there in the description. What? There was a... Uh, there was something else. Oh. I hope you have a great day.